All right, next thing I want to show you here, you can see on the desktop that if you have the Google search bar anywhere you go, just tapping on that will bring it up and you can start typing in um, what you want to search for. It'll search on your device and also search on Google as, as well. But you can also choose to do search specific applications that have been enabled. So you, you see how I hit that little icon right there. We'll go back again. This little menu icon, you go to settings and you see searchable items. And I can pick and choose what I want to have in there. So let's say I want to have messaging be searchable, MX player searchable. Let's say I don't want to have video searchable, something like that. I can uncheck the box like that. And now it's set to search across all those platforms for anything that you type in, which is also a really nice feature to have. You can also voice what you want to say. You voice what you want to search by hitting that voice icon. Droid. It opens up the Tom Droid and then it didn't exactly what I put in there, but you can kind of see there. Opens it up. You can see you can Droid and do voice search and stuff like that. So that's also a nice and nifty feature to have when you want to do searches and stuff through using Google search. Another cool feature in Android 4.0 that definitely would be good for beginners to know is the text-to-speech feature. Now you've seen text-to-speech before, you just hit the little icon on, on most uh, phones out there and you just kind of talk and you talk talk your message out and it kind of figures out what that what you're saying and kind of put it on thereafter. What's pretty cool here is, is that it will type as you're talking. I'll show you an example here. This is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it not knowing what it was, but they continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. You can see there, it's just typing as I'm going, as I'm sort of talking here. And it's just gonna keep going. It's really accurate, as you can see there as well too. And it's a really nice way to get some fast text messaging out there so you can just kind of talk, talk, get to type down, hit that send button very quickly. Really useful feature. Another thing to get really familiar with is your settings. So when you swipe down notification um, tray here in the main screen, you want to hit this little icon here that brings you to your settings. And get really familiar with these. This is really where the, sort of the nuts and bolts of your phone is at and where you can find a lot of things that, that you can customize and change as you want to. And they're grouped in a nice, nice, sec a nice section so you can um, go through and really find what you're looking for really quickly. You can change your display options if you want to control the brightness, if you don't want it to, to be on automatic or not. You can change the auto rotation, you can change the font size, pulse light notification, which is that little one that shows there at the bottom. You can see your storage, you can see what you have available in storage, pictures, video, misc, all those type of things and sort of uh, what what is taking what up as far as the total storage is concerned. You can have USB computer connection connect to that as so well through there. You can see the battery icon here and it gives you an idea of what's been using the battery and sort of the little graph here to show you how the, the battery life has been going. Which is pretty useful to have. You can also see your data usage which is a pretty big thing especially if you don't have an unlimited data plan. You can sort of manage this to see where you know, if let's say you only have two gigabytes and at about maybe one gigabyte you want to be warned and then once I hit the two gigabyte level, I want my data to be completely cut off, which you can have it which you can have it do right there. And you can also set it what's your data usage cycle based upon basically whatever your monthly plan is, you can set that up there. Also what's useful is that it shows you which applications use data and how much data those applications use and you'll see all through the list here. So you can get an idea of what might be a data hog. And you can see, you can check off, you wanna have data roaming on, restrict background data, show Wi-Fi usage as well too. All nice and really useful there. You have your account settings, locations and services. You can back up and reset real easily, your date and time. If you're going about phone, this just gives you your serial number, your, your, what baseband you're using, what version of Android, which is 4.0.2. And you can see there, really going through the settings, you can really, get down to a lot of the things that you're quickly going to be looking for and um, really set your phone up the way you want to.